Right, this is the message that comes from the control centre that tell us where we need to go and what we're going to. If you have a look on here, it tells us what the incident number is, because each number, each incident has got a number and the next incident is another number. It tells us what date it is, what time the call came in. It actually tells us what type of call it is. This says that there's a bin on fire. And of course, we need to know where to go when we get on the appliances. And this tells us that the address is outside Marks and Spencers, which is a shop. It's in Southgate Street and it's in Gloucester. Underneath, it also tells us which appliance we need to take, whether we need to take 105 or 205 or both of them or something else. So basically on there, it tells us everything that we need to know and where we need to go, which is, which is brilliant. What we're doing in the drill yard today is a drill where we use two pumps. The first pump will turn up to the job. Um, they'll get off, they'll get the ladder off, put it up against the building so that when people come behind us, they'll be able to get access. The next pump will then turn up and we'll have two breathing apparatus personnel who will already have their BA on. They will then be told where the casualty is in the building. They'll then enter to rescue somebody who's in a smoke-filled room in there. Claude is now going to explain how they keep a record of all the firefighters who have entered the building and work out how much air they are using in their breathing apparatus. I'm the BA Entry Control Officer, which means uh, Breathing Apparatus Entry Control Officer. I'm wearing this yellow and black checkered uniform because once I start to do this, I'm not allowed to do anything else because other firefighters' lives depend on it. So it's a very, very important job. I've got to be able to use a special pencil, which is called a China graph, which means that if it gets wet, it won't rub away. And I've got to be able to write clearly so that people can read what I've written. When we turn up to a job, the uh, people wearing breathing apparatus have tallies, and each person has one tally. So if two people go in, I put two tallies in, and I count them in, one and two. I've written their names on there, and I've also written the time that they've actually gone in. Because once you go into a building, we've got to be able to um, know how long somebody's been in and whether, when they need to come out. So what I will do is put the tallies in and then I'll join them together in a team. I'll work out what time they've gone in and then I'll work out what time they need to come out. And I you do that by using this dial at the top. So if the time is five past three, I'll set this dial five past three. I'll see how much air they've got in their cylinder and then I will go round to 270 and it tells me that the time they need to come out will be 347. So I'll write 347 there and 349 for the other person and then I'll know exactly when they need to come out. Once I've done that and the firefighters are in the building what I will then do is fill the rest of the board in. It says location at the top, which means where we are. And at the moment, we're at Gloucester Fire Station. So I write Gloucester Fire Station. So that tells us where we are. Below that um, is a line for who I am, because it needs, people need to know who I am. And if somebody else comes and takes over, they need to put their name there. So I put my title, which is Firefighter, FF, Firefighter Elliot. Below that, there's a box to tell us which entrance we've used, because you can have a building with more than one door on. If you're at home, you've got a front door and a back door. And if we set up at your front door, that would be one entrance. And if we went through the back door, that would be another entrance. And we, we give them special names. So the front door would be Alpha, so I'll write alpha because you've only got one on this job. I'll also write in where the uh, firefighters have gone. So I'll put down that they've gone into the ground floor. And they're going to go around the ground floor on the left hand side. Because we need to know exactly where they are just in case they get lost. And then I just write in there that they've taken one hose reel with them. 
And then the last thing we do, we actually put a box in the bottom corner and call that team, because we've got two people in there that make up one team, we call them Team T1 Alpha. And that is basically it. That's just to make sure that everybody that's counted in is counted out at the end. And when they come out, we take these tallies back out and we give them back. And then we know that there's nobody else in there.